Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a B6 Foxy Fix setup, and this is my new Lush Foxy Fix. I haven't used it yet, and it is this gorgeous, gorgeous gray color. I don't remember the exact names. I'll have to look it up, and then I will link it down below for you, um, but it is the Lush Leather from Foxy Fix. Um, and it is just super like look how foldy and like I basically could scrunch this guy up um, And one of the things I love about that too is you know You can run your fingers on there, and it doesn't make a scratch. Um, my other leather is the Stella gray um, Foxy fix and if you do do a scratch it does make it look more vintagey and older um, So I am switching away from that one. That was this one here. I had it engraved with Lindsay Molloy it just had white stitching very simple um, Yeah, this one is much more sturdier. It's um, Not as easily pliable as this one is um, So yeah, I am going to create um, the, my setup here for you on here. Um, just a quick overview. I already did a haul of this, um, but it is the gray lush leather. And then I did get the mint green um, elastic. And then I just got simple white stitching. Um, and then again, here's the mint elastics on the inside. Um, and then here's the jump ring. I don't know that I'm going to use the jump ring this time. I may or may not. Um, so I'll put it aside for now. Um, and if later I want to add it back in, I will. Um, but for now, I'm going to set it aside. Um, if I do, I'm trying to decide if I want to include this notebook. Um, it's just a little B6 notebook um, that I got from Hobby Lobby in a set of three. Um, and then I also would also include either this perpetual calendar that I have been using as kind of a um, one happy thought or grateful thought a day. Um, I don't know if I want to continue using this. Um, it was sort of fun. I don't know. I didn't really get that into it because I kind of I used my weekly um, happy thoughts for that. The inserts that I'm going to use are my new um, monthly week on three pages and I did do a video of this. I will link it down below or in one of the cards. I think that pops up right here and um, so you can check out a flip through of those and where you can find out how to get your hands on these. Um, then I have Jesenia Printables shopping list. Um, I love this thing. I think it's just perfect. Um, I use this when I go shopping for groceries. Then I have my Jesenia Printables monthly um, that I will continue using. And I really only use washi tape. I don't do anything fancy with this. And then I have my cycle tracker, which looks like this. This is also available in my shop. So those are the inserts that I plan on including, um, probably in that order. No, let's put monthly and cycle tracker last. Yeah, like so. So not too bulky. Um, I have Two, the only two Foxy Fix um, dashboards that I will be using. I took out my papers and I'll be saving them in case I want to reuse that kind of tropical leaf, leaf looking um, setup that I used before. I might, I might reuse it maybe next year or something like that, or pages of it anyways. Um, so these are what I will be using. I also have a new Fur and You um, Kind of planner embellishment thing. This is what I want to put on the front. It goes, I got this recently in the planner boss, planner boss collective sale or something like that. Um, so you just put that on there. I think that looks so beautiful. Um, not very practical when I take it places, so I probably won't keep it on, but when it's just sitting on my desk, 
it's beautiful, it inspires me, it's great. So um, I will be adding that on there. And I think it will go pretty well with the colors that I've got going on. I want it to be pretty um, summery looking. So I got this journaling card that is from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, and I thought this one, the bright yellows is what spoke to me. I love summer. Um, so I'm thinking I might just have that somewhere like on a dashboard or um, I just wanted to include it some, somewhere. The papers I have are all from Michaels. Um, this first one is just some gold metallic stars that are very gorgeous, just simple gold. So I'm gonna have a gold theme going on to kind of match the gold from here. And then I have this gold glitter bees. Um, I don't know if you can see the glitter too well. Maybe really close, yeah, you can. Um, the bees body has gold glitter on it and I just think it's so cute. Um, I love this. Very summery, I feel like. Then I have this Lemons. Lemons um, is very happy, bright yellow color. Um, it's a little bit thinner, so I'll probably use this in coinciding with one of these two sheets just because it is pretty flimsy. So yeah, and then this one is a little bit louder. I just, I wanted to stick along the same fruit theme um, with the lemons and kind of carry that over, but I wanna use these on the insides of my dashboards. Um, so they won't be so much on the outsides, mostly just like the liner on the insides. So cool. I also am gonna be bring in some Gold Star quotes for my dashboards. Um, I have this Agenda 52 from the Paper Studio. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, just some washi strips. It has some quotes and things like that on there. And I'll be bringing those in as well as some other things from my stash. Um, for the actual putting it all together, I'm gonna do a speed through because I am very methodical about the way that I set things up, but I will walk you through. So I will start the voiceover now. All right, so this will be a pretty quick little voiceover. I skipped a lot of the um, just cutting of the papers. Um, I used an older piece of dashboard that was from my last setup is kind of a guide, and I thought felt like that made it go a lot quicker just going through each paper and cutting down as many um, bits as I could. And I do also end up using some of those scraps, and I save all of my scraps because I will definitely use them in scrapbook layouts or I will use them in memory planning and things like that um, which just a little self promo I'm going to do some memory planning in an Erin Condren moving forward um, so yeah now I'm just trying to work out how I want to set up this first page um, I was thinking I was going to use this stars page in the front and then I wanted to use some sort of quote in the front. So I have this little piece of cardstock that I end up cutting down. And I wanted to use the giant fun in the sun sticker. So I cut down that cardstock um, just using my paper trimmer um, so that it doesn't have too much ex excess around the actual um, picture. And then I am using these Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Um, I'm using, it's the, there's a yellow one and an orange one and kind of just combining both of those to um, add a little bit of dimension to the piece of paper so it's not just a, a sheet of white paper um, once I put it down. And just adding that fun in the sun and then adding this cute little sticker of a lemon or orange slice. I can't tell. <laughs> it looks like a lemon slice maybe. Um, so... I also saw on the back of that fruit paper was yellow stripes, which I thought was perfect because that's basically the theme I was hoping to go for is kind of a the lemon, bees, and black and white and yellow kind of theme. Um, so I felt like that was fresh and summery. Um, so yeah, I'm using this um, washi strip from the um, paper studio um, this Agenda 52 or something like that. 
Um, so just using those in there just to add a little bit of something, something behind um, that fun in the sun. And then moving on to the B page, um, I wanted to also use as a kind of um, cute dashboard for the back of my first um, dashboard kit. I used another piece of, this was a gold uh, foiled washi strip from that sticker book and um, now just looking for a quote that I wanted to put on top of a um, on top of the, the little gold washi strip. I looked through this is the gold star quotes book that I have just recently purchased from Michaels um, and I choose the sticker that says my happy place because I feel like that definitely describes my planner. So I wanted to use that one. I placed that on some cardstock so that it has a white background since it is a clear sticker and then cut that out. Then just fussing around with putting in which um, papers I want to show on the inside. I end up just showing the um, fruit one and the lemon one by themselves with no extra embellishments. Um, last dashboard, um, I am just putting together this I Love Summer journaling card from um, that 12 by 12 piece of paper that I had and putting on top of the fruit. And then in the front, I have this lemon sheet that I use that um, yellow and white striped sheet and then add it to the front there and I use another sticker from the Gold Star Quotes um, Happy Planner sticker book to put on the front and the one I end up choosing is Start Today because I felt like the black kind of would help it pop and I really like how that turned out. I put the bee B paper behind it and then in the back it just has the gold stars and that journaling card and that's about it. Okay so I figured I'd do this part slowly since I'm pretty much done with fussing around with papers. Um, it didn't take quite as long. I didn't do as many embellishment sorts of things. I really just wanted to see the papers and add a couple stickers here and there. Um, and just a little bit of embellishments on the outer edges. Um, so I'm going to put, I think this fun in the sun one in the front. And then I am going to put the start today one and that says I love summer this one in the back and since these are pretty sturdy and they'll keep the planner pretty everything inside pretty safe then I want to I'm still going to use this um, acetate I had some vellum but I just didn't like how the vellum kind of fell apart almost so um, I wasn't a huge fan of that. I'm going to have to figure something else out. Um, but I'm going to put my shopping list inside of here. And probably put that one in the back here. And then my cycle tracker I am going to put here, but I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do to kind of protect it around it because um, I don't have another dashboard. Um, so that one's just going to chill for a little bit. Um, so for now, that's what it looks like. Then I think in the front, or do I want to do that? Or do I want to put, I might put this actually, my cycle tracker in the back. Back here. And then my monthly, I like to have in the front. So I can flip to that. And then I like to have my weeklies. That's right. My weeklies I like to put in the middle. And I don't know. I don't want this to just sit there unprotected. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down this piece of paper. Um, probably do find out how I can even it out a little bit and use that piece of paper. This paper is from Amy Tangerine. I can't
can't remember where I got this. I can't remember where I got this. I think it was from like um, Tuesday morning or something. I don't remember, but I know it wasn't like uh, Michael's or anything like that. I couldn't, I don't think you can find it there. Um, so I'm gonna cut down this really quick. So hold on one second. Okay, I think that's a pretty good fix to not wanting to use vellum, but still wanting something sturdy to kind of keep this bit all together. I need to order another dashboard basically, but um, last time I tried to order from Foxy, or when I ordered this, they were sold out, So because I was gonna order another one, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, so there we go. Now I'm going to just add it back in my bookmark and I like this heavy one to be here and then I put the other side. This bookmark I actually made um, myself. I just used some leather string and then added on some charms at the bottom with some um, clamp rings. All right, I think that's looking pretty cute. I like how that looks. Now just to fill in. And I feel like it might need it might, I might need to add that jump ring in and add some more, just to beef it up a little bit. Um, so for the jump ring, I might have to move some things around. So I'm gonna take this back out. And then I am going to, let's see. I'm gonna put this notebook here in the back. And that's a pretty tight jump ring, so I actually don't need to put it up in the front. Um, I think I might use that. For the time being, I'm just gonna put this back in there. Um, I don't know that I wanna keep it though. I am gonna be on the hunt or creating um, another another insert. Um, I don't know if I wanna use one, get one for budgeting or um, something else, but I don't I don't really use this and I'm gonna start be start using my Erin Condren as my memory planner, so I don't really need to use that. In the front here, I am going to use probably, that does not gonna fit, this apple maybe. I think I might just stick with what I know, guys. Just leave that little guy there. And then I think sticking out, I might put this paper here. And it's card stocky, so it's it's pretty sturdy. Then I have some Grumpy Bear stickers that I like to just have on hand because I think they're super cute. Um, just little nah. Might 
just leave him in this pocket, put these stickers here, like that. And then I have a bunch of freebies that I like to have on hand um, from shops. These are just my random ones, and then I have a ton of Happy Daya ones um, that I also like to have on hand just for a quick sticker fix. I love freebies. I'm pretty sure I could probably even live off of freebies. Um, that one got bent a little bit. That's okay though. All right, and then I think I probably need to make this a little sturdier. So I'm going to jump over and find another piece of paper that could probably make this a little sturdier and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed um, a, just a piece of vellum, this pretty sturdy pineapple um, sheet, and then this gold dot acetate. And I think I might do the gold dots up front, or I might, no, I don't know if I wanna use that. Or if I just layer all three and kind of mute I mean, that's a pretty cool effect, don't you think? I think so. Let's try it out. Okay. I feel like that, that gives a little bit more structure just when you're opening and closing, so that works. Okay, awesome. Oh yeah, that feels much better. I like this planner, how it's floppy, um, but I think it does definitely need just a little something to kind of keep it a little bit more put together. But since it is so floppy, you can fit so many stickers in there and not feel like you're stretching anything out. So I love it. Um, I think I actually might move this guy And exchange, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I like that better. So now um, I'm just going to close her up. Look how gorgeous that is. Look how much more structured it looks too when you, once it's all filled in. That's so cool. And I'll put my little fur and you bit there. Looks awesome. Okay, now I will lay down. Now I will do a quick walkthrough and just add in my bookmarks and, and some um, paper clips and things like that, just final touches here and there. All right, now for the final flip through, I will walk you through everything that I did and where everything is from. Um, so just to start off, this is the Lush um, gray Foxy Fix in the B6 size. And then on the front, I have a Fur and You flower embellishment with, um, and it just stays on using Velcro. Um, and then as you go in, I think I'll probably take this off when I open it actually, it's just too beautiful. I don't know, it's probably not very functional, but it's gorgeous. Um, uh, once you open up, I don't put a ton of things all over the place, really. I think I might, I have this little paper clip, actually. I might put this 
here. Maybe. I don't know. I might put it just there. There we go. Um, I don't put a ton over here just because I don't want to, you could see there, I didn't want to like mess up the leather too much. Um, I just have this little typewriter. This is from Coco Daisy. I think this was actually like a piece of card. I don't remember what it's from, but this, I had a Coco Daisy, um, subscription a while back, way a while back. I just have some Grumpy Bear sticker company stickers right here, just some samplers and a couple um, stickers like a workout sticker and tea. I might put the tea or the workout one first. Nah, I don't know. Um, these are all, I mean, these won't just stay here doing nothing. I will use them. Um, then I just have a piece of gold star paper cardstock right here in the front to give it a little bit of structure. Then at the front, um, all of these papers in here are from Michaels. This sticker is from the Happy Planner Gold Star Quotes book. And so is the little lemon sticker. This little lemon and pink is from the Agenda 52, the paper studio. On the back, I use the fruit um, paper because um, the actually the yellow stripes is the back of the fruit paper, so I put the fruit on the inside. It's not too sturdy. I might have to add something else to it. I'm not quite sure yet. I might have to cover this up. Um, then I have my monthly insert from Jacenia Printables. Then the back, I have the lemon paper. And then this cute bee paper, um, this little strip of gold washi is from that Agenda 52, the paper studio. I just used a sticker from the Happy Planner Gold Star Quotes and put that on a piece of cardstock, glued that down. This paper is not from Michaels actually, and it is from um, Amy Tangerine. And it is just something that I thought I would put in just really quick to kind of protect my weekly. Um, and here's my weekly. This is what I would be taking in and out. Um, if you want more information about this weekly, I did have a video. I will um, have that linked down below where you can find those. Then I have my shopping list from just any printables. And I think I'm gonna use this, no, I'm gonna use this gold um, arrow paper clip, and then I'm just gonna paper clip this page right here. So, can easily flip to the clean sheet. Then I have this perpetual calendar, which is probably gonna go away. Um, and be replaced with something else, but I just don't know what yet, but just for filler so that I can use the jump ring, I put that in there. Then this notebook is just simple lined paper um, with these tropical banana leaves, and this was from Hobby Lobby. Then in the back with the last Foxy Fix um, dashboard, I have just the stickers from the Happy Planner Gold Star Quotes, and this is that back of the fruit paper. Here's more of that bee paper. I have my cycle tracker. And again, this is available in my shop. Then I have this gold star paper in the back and the fruit paper kind of peeking out from behind this I Love Summer um, journaling card. And then in the back I have three layers of paper, this pineapple gold one with this honeycomb vellum and then gold dot acetate just to give it some extra oomph in the back. And then I have all of my freebies that I like to use throughout the week. Um, I was gonna use this somewhere, I just can't, I'm not sure where I wanna use it. This is just actually a sticker and a paper clip. This is a sticker from Martha Stewart. It's just a puffy sticker. 
and I just glued on a felt piece on the back. So that's one way that you could create your own. Um, I'll probably do a video on how to make some really quick, simple little paper clips um, on the cheap so you don't have to um, spin an arm and a leg on shipping and things like that. So I will probably do that. Um, so yeah, that is it for my B6 um, kind of summer, summer fruit layout. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this flower on there just functionally throughout the time, but I think probably definitely for pictures. Um, and I might just put it on my um, wall for decoration, to be honest. It's so beautiful, I don't wanna mess it up. Um, so yeah, that is it for this quick setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, and I gotta put in my, I'm such a scatterbrain. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I've got to put this back. This is my bookmark that I created. It just is with leather string and some charms from Michaels. There we go. So that is my current planner setup. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I hope you love it because I absolutely love it. Um, I definitely love how it feels too in your hands. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. All right, this gets me excited to plan in here again. I think definitely switch up your planner if in if you are in a traveler's notebook like this. Switching it up just makes it feel more exciting and makes you wanna come back to planning. Um, I think I might even do that maybe every two months or something like that and just switch it up. Um, it's not that hard, especially like this. You don't have to have a bunch of a million different embellishment things all over your planner. Um, it's really just getting a few four or five or four pa papers from Michaels and some stickers that you probably already have and making them your own. Awesome. Well, I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch some more videos, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!